welcome back to Jamie's Crazy Life. What I'm going to talk to you about today is what you can wipe your butt with. All right, I know this coronavirus uh, is very serious. And everybody should take every measure to stay out of the public, stay away from people, um, avoid contact with anybody who looks like they, because they could be sick, or if you're at all feeling under the weather, avoid contact with people, especially, I guess, really small, small infants and seniors. Uh, nobody's immune to this whole mess, but there is an insanity going on in the grocery stores, um... And it's, it's funny, but it's not, okay? It, it's, 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 it's sad in a way that people feel they have to panic and buy. Um, so I came up with some alternatives to toilet paper. Okay. And I'll be linking a picture up here so you can see. Um, don't put any of this stuff down your commode. Throw it away. But let's start with. Paper towels, people. We can use paper towels. And they also will substitute in place of baby wipes if you add a little water to them. I'm sure to turn them into baby wipes, you could add a little baby oil or something for little babies. Same goes with napkins, like regular napkins. You, those can be used. You can even, when you go through the drive through at the convenience, at the, um, fast food joint, you can ask for a couple extra napkins and just squirrel them away in case you think you need them. How about tissues, box tissue, like Kleenex, so forth? Um, those could be used. How about cotton rounds that women use to remove makeup, use to remove um, nail polish remover? But before you use your daughter's or mother's or wife's cotton rounds, ask <laughs> ask all right this is old school okay i'm talking old school like two generations ago or three generations newspaper you crumble it up to soften it up but newspaper could be used on your little heinies it might leave a little black mark but at least it gets the doo-doo off same goes with the magazine sheets y'all we can use magazines just again i would crumple and avoid, try to avoid paper cuts if at all possible. Again, how about brown paper bags? Rip them up, crumble them up. They might work if worse comes to worse. Now we're going to go into using washcloths because you can wash them. But I'd hang on to enough toilet paper so that you can wipe off the doo-doo first and then wipe the butt with the washcloth so you have less to wash. But washcloths. How about old towels? Cut them up into squares. You can use a towel, cut it into squares, rip it into squares, and it's all washable. I don't know what you're going to do if you run out of wash, washing soap, but that's okay. How about rag clothing? You know, you can take rags and, um, and uh, cut them up. Now, a friend, <laughs> I'm going to bust you here. A friend of mine, Bevels, told me that. Her husband, Wes, would come home from hunting, and he'd have squares removed from his t-shirts. Well, how about a t-shirt? We'll take Wes's advice and use a t-shirt. You know, cut up old t-shirts. Everybody's got old t-shirts now. Don't tell me you have an old t-shirt. Probably an old t-shirt your wife don't like no more. Cut it up. It could be used. How about that one sock that we never can find the mate for? Put them in a basket on the back of your commode. I saw a picture on Facebook where somebody did that. Where somebody showed that as an idea. And you guys remember, most likely in the bathroom, unless it's just a toilet and a sink, but still you have a sink. But if it's a regular bathroom, you have a shower or a tub. You can use that shower head like a bidet and wash your tushy. Okay, how about a sponge? Now... I think a sponge would be one of my last choices. Not my last choice. Only because of the crooked nannies of it. You know, the little... But you could use a sponge. It could be washed. I'm not too sure if I would want to use a sponge. But I would before I'd use nothing. How about... Now, these are odd ones, okay? Uh, puppy pads. Get the 
puppy pads and cut them up into squares and use puppy pads because they're absorbent. I'm not too sure, you know, but they could be used. Another thing that could be used would be um, gloves. Plastic, if you have them, you still, you know, I don't know. And cloth gloves, like winter gloves. I wouldn't necessarily, but they could be washed and reused. Now, here's some old, old, um, um, old school survival hunting, uh, hiking tricks. Um, well, this was, this is the more old school. And this was, um, courtesy of Wes, his idea. And I don't want to know if he has done this before. I don't want to know, Wes. Don't want to know. Corn cob. Now, after you've eaten the corn off the cob, it's a little softer. That might work for one use to clean the doo-doo off. But, again, I don't want to know. Don't want to know. Um, corn, uh, corn husks. I know that's old school. That's, you know, they used to use that in the, in the outhouses. You can use corn husks. Leaves. But people, know your leaves. Don't accidentally get anything that's going to be like poison ivy or poison oak. Know your leaves before you wipe your tushy. Because I think that you would have more, <laughs> more problems with your butt if you use the wrong leaves than just having a little poo on it. And one that I saw on a, on a survival thing, but I don't think I'd want to use it, is a rock. So... Those are my ideas. I did have one last minute idea that came to me, but this is only when you can no longer eat it because it's gone stale, is old bread. Think about it for a minute. Again, I don't know if I'd want to wipe my tushy with a piece of bread, but if it's old bread and it's gone stale and it's got mildew on it or you just don't want to eat it, you could use it. So I'm just saying now, this was not at all to make fun of this whole coronavirus thing. This was just to give you some ideas because it is insane what people are doing, hoarding everything up. It's, it's, it's crazy. I realize people think we might get shut in and not be able to get out and everything, but people, I don't think we really need to buy everything off the stores. I mean, not everything. Our, my local grocery store is completely empty. Of everything but candy and chips and dry cereal. So, um, but y'all just be safe. You know, I hope this gave somebody a laugh. I'm not poking fun of the coronavirus. I just think we're getting a little crazy about hoarding toilet paper and stuff. So, um, if you like my videos, like and subscribe. If you don't, I'm sorry. But always, always, you know, enjoy the craziness of life because. You might just laugh about it when you tell a friend. So I will see you on the next video. Bye.